أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وبارك السلام عليكم dear students I welcome you all to the third lecture of principles of auditing inshallah in this lecture we'll have a quick review of our previous lecture lecture 02 and then we'll discuss the types of accreditations provided by the professional bodies and the main discussion is going to be on the advantages of auditing so let's start with the <coughs> with the review of the previous lecture in lecture 02 we had discussion on the professional bodies in accounting and auditing right so what is a professional body professional body is basically an internationally recognized organization organization which conducts exams and provides accreditations to those professional individuals who fulfill the requirement with respect to qualification and experience in the field of auditing and accounting so professional bodies are mostly internationally recognized uh, by the professional field and these professional bodies provide accreditation to the professional individuals accreditation means certification or chartered how they provide the accreditation they have two requirements one is qualification requirement and the second is experience requirement qualification requirement is that you have to study all the modules uh, offered by these organizations and then pass all the exams of each relevant module once you have passed you have completed the first requirement now the second requirement is experience so internationally there is a three years practical experience requirement uh, that every professional body require from a professional individual so once you have qualification and practical experience then that professional body will give you accreditation or certification in that specific field and that field could be auditing or that field field could be accounting so that was all the discussion that we had previously and we said that there are a lot of uh, different um, uh, professional bodies uh, established in different countries so let's look at some of the professional bodies in different countries so the professional bodies <coughs> auditing bodies in UK so these four are the professional bodies in auditing established in UK so the first one is Institute of Chartered Accountants of Scotland it is called ICAS this uh, professional organization was established in 1854 the second professional body is Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales ICAEW this professional body was established in 1880s you see these professional bodies are established quite long ago number three Institute of Chartered Accountants in Ireland ICAI this professional body was established uh, in 1885 uh, the fourth one which is the most famous one is the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants ACCA you may have heard about that ACCA it's a very famous organization uh, it's very famous also in Afghanistan as well you may have heard people saying that I'm doing ACCA basically ACCA is not the name of a qualification ACCA is the name of a professional body the name of the qualification is accountancy right professional accountancy or so if someone 
uh, gets qualified from ACCA, he will either be an auditor or he will either be an accountant, right? So by law, the UK companies can also be can can only be audited by the professional individual who has qualified or who is certified by one of these four professional bodies, right? So these were some of the names of professional bodies in different. In, in UK okay in the field of uh, accounting uh, there are five uh, organizations in UK uh, which provide provides accreditation and certification in the field of public accountancy number one is certified public accountant association CPAA number two is the Institute of financial accountants IFA and number three is the Association of Accounting Technicians (AAT). Uh, the next one is Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy (CIPFA), and number five is Chartered Institute of Management Accounts (CIMA). So among these four, these five, the fifth one, Chartered Institute of Management Accountant, it's very famous uh, for the public accountants. So most of the public accountants in, in, in the entire world, they are the members of the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, CIMA, the fifth one, right? So these professional individuals, when they get qualified, when they get certified, then we call them the members, right? So a public accountant or an auditor can be the member of the professional bodies. Once you are the member of these professional bodies, then you can carry out audits, and you can conduct audits and you can provide accounting services okay there are some professional bodies in Pakistan as well number one Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan ICAP Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of Pakistan ICMAP and number three Institute of Chartered Public Accountants of Pakistan ICPAP so in Pakistan, CA is very uh, very famous, CA, Chartered Accountants, that is number one, right? Uh, as I mentioned you earlier, these professional bodies are basically recognized internationally and they could be established in any uh, any country of the world, but they, they are required to be recognized interna internationally. So there is one professional body by the name of IFAC. IFAC means Institute of uh, Federation of um, Financial Accountants, right? IFAC, International Federation of Accountants. IFAC, I-F-A-C, International Federation of Accountants. So that professional body is the professional body of the professional bodies. Just like there is a central bank and all the banks belongs to that central bank, we how do we define central bank we say central bank is the bank of the banks so similarly i fake is the professional body of the professional bodies means that all the professional bodies in the world when they start when they are established and they start working they have to be registered with i fake when i fake gives them registration and permit then they can uh, start their operations in any country then uh, they want right okay now let's talk about the types of accreditations or certifications provided by these professional bodies so when you want to become a professional accountant or professional auditor you have to, you you have to pass through these stages right like there are six stages that a normal uh, professional accountant passes through uh, or we can say that a professional individual there are six categories of professional individuals right so the first category is a student category or first type of accreditation prov provided by the professional body is student so student category is uh, for all those individuals who are still uh, in 
learning phase, in the study phase, and also they are in the phase of training. So we can say student is that professional individual who is studying the modules of the professional bodies and at, uh, at the same time he could be working as a trainee somewhere in some organizations or maybe in the auditing firms or maybe in some other organizations. Number two is affiliation. The second category is affiliation. So it, this is the category where the professional individuals complete their modules, their subjects. They have studied all the subjects, they have passed all the subjects, but they have yet not uh, fulfilled the practical experience requirement. For example, there is a person, Ahmad. He is studying uh, the auditing professional field from one of the professional bodies. When he is in the study phase, that person is called student. When he studies all the modules, finishes all the subjects and passes all the exams, he becomes affiliate, right? He becomes affiliate. So affiliate is a professional individual who has fulfilled the, uh, the, the qualification requirement, but he is yet to fulfill the experience requirement. An affiliate is required to have three years of practical experience in the field of auditing or in the field of accounting. Only when he completes three years of experience, experience after being affiliated, then he can go to the next category. He applies for the next uh, category, which is called member or membership, right? So member is that individual who has fulfilled the qualification requirement and also the ex practical experience requirement. So a member is that professional individual who has at least three years of practical experience in the field of auditing and accounting. After you become affiliate, then the next category is the membership. When, once you get the membership, then you have to work as a member for five years, right? For five years, you have to work for five years as a member, then you can go to the next category, right? So a member is the a professional individual who has fulfilled all the qualification requirements and he has three to five years of practical experience in the field of auditing and accounting. So when you spend five years as a member, then you can apply for the next uh, category, which is fellow member, right? So fellow member is the highest level membership and it recognizes the senior experience. It means that a uh, fellow member is an individual with more than five years of practical experience in the field of auditing and accounting uh, with have already fulfilled the knowledge requirement and all that right so after you spend five more years as a fellow member then you can apply for the next category which is a registered member right so registered member is a professional individual who minimum has 10 to 15 years of uh, practical background in the field of uh, accounting and auditing. The next category is licensed member. So licensed member is a professional individual who has 15 to 30 years of practical background in the field of auditing and accounting. So the more you get to the highest category, the more there is reward for you. For example, you are a student and you work in, in, a, in an organization, you, you could be paired with $300 to $500 when you become affiliate affiliate member. Affiliate member or uh, members are paid more, like you will be paid $1,000. When you become a member, then you are paid more because your experience is more. So then you can be paid like $2,000 to $3,000. When you become a fellow member, then you are earning gets higher it could be five to ten thousand dollars and when you become a registered member that could be even ten to twenty thousand dollars per month when you become licensed member it could be even more than that right so twenty to thirty thousand dollar per month you can so that is how these professional and uh, uh, bodies provide the 
accreditation to the professional bodies so the first category is a student after student you become affiliate member then you become a full member then you become a fellow member then you become a registered member and then you become a licensed member the more you get to the higher category the highest category the more your experience increases the more your your body of knowledge increases and the more your reward increases right so that's all about the professional body uh, and the professional bodies around the world and the type of accreditations provided by these professional bodies now let's go to our main topic that is advantages of audit audit has advantage to to all the organizations whether they are small whether they are medium whether they are large whether they are solely owned organizations whether they are partnership organizations whether they are uh, uh, shareholding organizations or companies whether they are manufacturing organizations whether they are service organizations or whether they are trading organizations auditing provides an advantage to all and any and each type of organizations so we have categorized the advantages of audit into four number one is uh, general advantages for all type of organizations number two advantages for sole traders number three advantages for partnership organizations and number four advantages for limited liability corporations right so let's start with the first one and Ad general advantages of audit for all organizations so the first general advantage is as an audit is independent review of the finance internal system and report on them it, it, it is helpful in finding out the weaknesses to be corrected so when the first advantage of the audit is that when an organization carries out audit that organization knows its weaknesses its areas which require further improvement the policies the systems right each and everything is found out the organization finds out where they have weakness and how that could be improved so it's good it's always good to know about your weaknesses if you want to improve further you must know about your weaknesses and improve those weaknesses and this objective uh, could you, could be achieve, achieved with the help of the audit number two during the audit the auditor provides advice on on basis of his expertise and experience as when accounts and control system are to be introduced or extended the second advantage is that auditor is an experienced person when he comes to your organization and he reviews your internal control system he reviews your accounting system he reviews your organization he reviews your accounting record and financial information on the basis of his expertise and experience he gives you advices right advices regarding how to improve your internal control system further and also what additional accounts uh, should be added to your chart of account and what accounts should be removed from your chart of account so that is also one of the uh, other advantage of the audit to all the organizations in general number three the presence of auditor will minimize the attempts at fraud and make their success less likely the third benefit is that when we have an audit once a year so no one will make fraud and misrepresentations and errors because they know that at the end of the year there is an audit coming so they will be very help, very careful uh, and they will not make errors they will not make any fraud and we want that that in our organization there is no fraud nobody makes any fraud deliberately or undeliberately in, in our organization nobody misuses our finances nobody misuses our resources as a businessman we want that and we can achieve this with the help of audit so that is the third general advantage to all organization number four errors and frauds are likely to be discovered more quickly there are some people who are very expert uh, in accounting and they make very systematic uh, fraud that nobody else can easily catch them but the auditor 
having a lot of experience and expertise can easily catch those frauds and misrepresentations so as a businessman we want to improve we want to expand and that's that will only and only happen if we can control uh, our or, uh, our organization and we make sure that no one makes any fraud right no one misuses our funds and no one misuses the authority and power so that could only be controlled with the help of audit if once a year we have audit of our organization we can be benefited with this advantage so these four were the general advantages of audit now let's go to the second category which is advantages for sole traders so these three are the advantages specific to only and only sole proprietorship organizations audited accounts are given more weight by banks and other and others which are approached to provide finance we know that small organizations they have limited funds and they always are uh, in need of funds and they fulfill that need of funds by applying to the banks or to other people or finance finance uh, finance organizations uh, to support them to give them credit or to to support them financially so if that sole trader audits its account so these accounts have more weight means the person who is financially helping this organization that person could be a bank that person could be another finance organization uh they will require the audited financial statements or audited reports of this company so if the company if, if if this business or company is audited every year the banks will easily give them finance the finance organization will give will give them easily the funds and then they can utilize those funds in order to improve their businesses if a business does not audit its financial information or its organization every year and then he applies for the for the loan from a bank or from a finance organization that finance organization will not provide him loan loan or will not support him with finances because they do not have audited financial statements as they provide the money so they are willing to know they want to make sure that their money is not wasted right that's why they require the audited financial statements ببینیم شما وقتی کسی برای ما پیسه میده اونا هم ما ایران نمیخواه که پیسه شان زایه شده ولی حالا اونا یعنی میخواین که امیره ببینید که آیا پیسه که اونا بر شما میده پیسه از اونا را شما چه قسم شما میتونید که از او فایده بگیرین آیا پیسه شان زایه میکنین آیا ای که پیسه از اونا را شما صحیح بزنس سرش میکنین و بر خودم نفع میاره شانین و به اونا هم اونا را هم نفع میتین به می خاطر ای معلومات را اونا از کجا میکنه که شما ای قابلیت را دارن که شما صحیح منجمنت آف فنز میکنین ای را از فنانشل سٹیٹمنٹ شما اونا میتونن که معلوم بکنن و فقط و فقط امو فنانشل سٹیٹمنٹ را اونا قبول میکنن که اونا آرد شده باشن سایستا نمبر تو پرسپیکٹف کسٹمر اور پرچیز آف بزنس ول ہیو مور کانفیڈنٹ in audit accounts as evidence of past perf- uh, profitability khob kala che ho kasra zi zamung da business na khareedari ke ya customer war che zamung da business customer shi no ga ham war che this yo kasra khpal business deal ho ki che ha ga this yo organization which ha ga stable organization we aur da stability او پروفیٹیبلٹی بارے کی معلومات مونگ دا فائنینشل سٹیٹمنٹس نکو او دس کسٹمر او پرچیزر چ مونگ سر اوارڈی ڈیلو کی ہاوی فقط و فقط اغا فائنینشل سٹیٹمنٹس قبل ہی چ کم اوردر شی وی ملتا ہم مونگ سر اوردی او کم کی چ مونگ دا اس کسٹمرز چ مونگ سر اوردی لانگ ٹرم کسٹمر پات شی مونگ نہ پگٹو اوردر مالونا مونگ نہ واخلی او یو قوی بزنس اڑی کی مونگ سر اولری دس کسٹمرز مونگ جان تا جلب کو نو دے دا پر اوردر مونگ سر کم کی چه هر کال من خپل اکاونٹس اوردر کوم دا اس کسٹمرز من په اسانی سره جلب کولای شو نمبر 3 اوردر اکاونٹس ار لایکلی ټو هیو مور کریڈیبلٹی بل دا چې یو کمپنی 
سول ترر کمپنی که آغا هر کال خپل اکاونس آرد کی او به آغا پبلش کی آغا رپورتس پبلش کی نو دغه د دغه ارګنایزیشن کریډیبلټی اعتبار په جامعه کې یا په بزنس کمیونټي کې زیاتی کې خلک پرې اعتبار کوي نو دغه درې هغه مشخصې فایدې وي چې انفرادي بزنس ته اورډ د خوان رسیږي دریم کټګری مونږ سره ایډوانټیجز اف پارټنرشپ دی سو ان دس کټګری وی هاف تری ایډوانټیجز سپیسیفیک ټو پارټنرشپ بزنسز نمبر 1 د انټرس اف سلیپینګ پارټنر Uh, will be protected sleeping partner our partner de chaga saraf sarmay guzari ki nur da business pe mudiriyat kiya ga saham na khli faqat paisi ta dar ki aur nur da business pe mudiriyat kiya ga saham na khli aur bia mayal pe mayal jaga ta nunga profit work ho no this your partner chaga mu sara sleeping partner de no aga ba hamesha padi soch ki hoye yara daga andwalan ma ta chart do rogo no bhai او که چرته مونږ خپل پارټنرشپ بزنس همیشه آرډټ کوو کال په اخره کې آرډټ کوو نو هغه به هم دغه شک مونږ باندې نه کوي او هغه سره کوم نورې پیسې هغه ولري نو هغه به هم مونږ سره سرمایه ګذاري وکړي او یا دا چې مونږ باندې به هیڅ اعتبار نه کوي مونږ باندې به قوي اعتبار لري یعنې هیڅ به اعتباري به په مونږ باندې نه کوي صحیح ده ځکه سلیپنګ پارټنر اکثره ډېر پیسې مونږ سره سرمایه گذاری کی نو کاغا چا ته بیتبار خپل سرمایه مونږ نو باسی زمون بزنس هغه سره کولپس کی دا یو فایده شو سلیپنګ پارتنر همیشه با اعتبار ای او هغه خپل پیسې مونږ سره ساتي او اضافي مونږ سره سرمایه گذاری کی چې دی سره مونږ بزنس قوي کی نمبر 2 نمبر بی ډیسپیوټ امنګ پارتنرز اوور سچ میټرز اس پروفیټ شیرینګ می بی لیس لایکلی ټو ارایز وین اکاونټس هاف بین اوډیټډ اند اف دی ډو ارایز the effect may be minimized as auditors are independent whom all partners trust kore auditor this yo kas the ya yo independent individual le baqi bande har partner chade aga etbar ki no ka charta this business ke partnership business ke bain e partner ra kodam mushkil pesh me aaya ke mushkil e taqseem e munafa pesh me aaya سایسته اگر آرد آرتر نباشه و ای نهاد آرد شده نباشه یک پارتنر سر دیگه شک میکنه دیگه سر دیگه شک میکنه کیش میگه تو پیسه رو دوزی کردی دیگه میگه تو پیسه رو دوزی کردی یا کم نشان دادی یا فلانه یا خو این مشکل وقتی حل میشه که ما بزنس خود را ما آرد کرده باشه وقتی که بزنس رو آرد بکنیم کدام رپوره که به ما آرتر میده میده سر از مو تمام پارتنر ها امور قبول میکنه و سرش اعتبار میکنه فلی هزا بین پارتنر ها کدام نو تنازیه یا کدام نو دسگریمنت پیش نمیه ای فایده دیگه آرد بوده که به تجارت های شراکت مشخص هسته ترد وان ایز فانشل ارنجمنت آن ایدمیشن آف ا نیو پارتنر آر ریتارمنت آر موس ساوندلی بیست if the accounts themselves are not to be reliable khabala ghat fayda da chikala mun ne yo partner z ya yo partner mun sara newe razi no bada waqt ki audit ti zyad ko makki zaka kam malumat ch audit che bhi baqi band tool khalak etbar ki jo us misal yo business the aga audit che de aga business la khai ch daga business ki dre mil na wane sara mai guzari che چې بل او درې میلیون سرمایه ګذاري شي او درې نفره په دې کې پارټنر دي څلورم پارټنر راځي نو هغه مجبور دی چې یو میلیون افغانۍ راوړي چې هغه مکمل شریک شي نو که چرته اړل شوی نه وي هغه څلورم کس بیا یعنې اعتبار نه کوي چې آیا دغه درې میلیون رښتیا هم درې میلیون سرمایه ده یا کېدی شي دې نه کم یا کېدی شي دې نه زیات وي صحیح ده کنه نو چې کله مونږ دغسې پارټنرشپ بزنس مونږ اوډټ کړی وي نو مونږ دغه دا مونږ سره ډېر کمک کوي خصوصا په هغه وخت کې چې مونږ یو پارټنر له منځ نه وباسو او یا یو نوی پارټنر مونږ سره اضافه کېږي صحیح ده چې کله پارټنر یو پارټنر نه مونږ ځي هغه وخت کې هم دغه مشکلات پېښېږي چې حسابي منځ کې راځي کنه حسابي کې کمی بیشی بیا یو بل بل اعتبار نه کوي بل 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 نه اعتبار نه کوي نو چې اکاونټس آرډټ شي ټول بزنس آرډټ شي بیا ټول آرټر رپورټ باندې اعتبار کوي او څه چې راپور راشي هغه راپور مطابق هغه خپل تقسیم کوي او یو پارټنر خپل خپله سرمایه باسي یا یو بل پارټنر راځي 
پارٹنرشپ کے اضافہ کیے دغ دری ایڈوانٹیج ٹو دیز ویر اسپیسیفک ٹو پارٹنرشپ بزنس ناؤ لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ دا فورتھ کیٹیگری دا فورتھ کیٹیگری از ایڈوانٹیجز فار ایل ایل سیز ایل ایل سی مینس لمیٹڈ لائبلٹی کارپوریشن یعنی ہاغ بزنس ہونا چاہے آگا محدود المسولیت بزنس میں ورتا ہوں یعنی سمانا ہاغ بزنس ہونا چاہے آگا شیئر ہولڈرز لری صحیح دا شیئر ہولڈر یو خو شراکت دے آئیو بے شرکت دے صحیح دا شراکت خو منگا وقتی ڈسکس کو دا اس شرکت بارا کے شرکت تا سگٹر سی اول خو ایکسس ٹو کیپٹل مارکٹ یو شرکت کا اولی شیشی کیپٹل مارکٹ تا ایکسس پیدا کی لارا پیدا کی سمانا یعنی پبلک فائننسنگ ہو کی صحیح دا نوے شیئرز ایشو کی نوے بانڈز ایشو کی او دا غیر ذریعہ نا دا مارکٹ نا شیئر ہولڈران پیدا کی او اگر شیئر ہولڈران نتا دا غو پا پیسو پا بدل کی شیئرز ور کی صحیح دا دا فقط اگر وقت کے پاسبل دی چیو کمپنی ہر کال خپل اکاؤنٹس آرڈیٹ کی نو بیا خلق پاگے باندھ اعتبار کی نو بیا اگر کمپنی کھولی شی چی نوے شیئر ہولڈران پیدا کی صحیح دا کہ یو کمپنی خپل فائنانشل انفارمیشن نہ ڈٹ کی نو ہیچ سوک پاگے بان اعتبار نہ کی نو دس یو کمپنی پبلک فائنانسنگ نشی کا والے ایکوٹی فائنانسنگ او ڈیٹ فائنانسنگ آگا نشی کا والے صحیح شو پبلک لیمیڈڈ کمپنیز مست سریسفائی آرڈ ریکوارمنٹس اند دی سیکیورٹی ان ایکسچینج کمیشن سیکیورٹی ان ایکسچینج کمیشن یو آتارٹی دا در حاغ ٹولو کمپنین دا غا ریکوارمنٹ دے دا غوار چی دوی بعد خبر تول اکاؤنٹس آرڈٹ کی سو دا سیکیورٹی ان ایکسچینج کمیشن ان آرڈٹ تو ریجسٹر سیکیورٹیز ان ہیف دم کریڈٹ ان دا سیکیورٹی مارکٹ پا افغانستان کی خمونگ سر سیکیورٹی مارکٹ نے شچال تمونگا شیئر زو اسحام دا شاین خرس کو خو پا نور دنیا کے دا غا شاین شتا نو آلتا اگی تمونگا سٹاک مارکٹ ہوئیو پا سٹاک مارکٹ کی دا غا کمپنیان اخبال شیئرز خرسی او واپس اخلی نو دا اگا وقت کی پا پاسیبل بیچ کلا دا غا کمپنیان اخبال ایکاؤنٹس آرڈٹ کی اخبال ایکاؤنٹ آرڈٹ کی دیر پاس آنے سر دا سٹاک مارکٹ نا دی پیسے جمع کولی شی فاننسنگ کولی شی او اخبال بزنس آپریشنز فنڈ کولی شی او کا آرڈٹ ہونے کی نو دا کمپنیان بیا اخبال آپریشنز دا سٹاک مارکٹ نا یا دا پبلک فاننسنگ دا ذریعہ نا فنڈ کا والے نشی صحیح نا سو ویڈ آورڈ آرڈٹ آرڈٹ کمپنیز ووڈ بی ڈینائیڈ ایکسس تو دیز کیپٹل مارکٹس کچھر تا دا کمپنیانی خپل ایکاؤنٹس آرڈٹ نکی نو دوی تا دا سیکیوریٹی ان ایکسچینج کمیشن دا خوانا اجازت نا ورکا والکی چی دوی فاننسنگ ہو کیا نیوے شیئرز ایشو کیا شیئرز واخلی صحیح نمبر ٹو لوور کاسٹ آف کیپٹل کاسٹ آف کیپٹل اول سے توی لکھی کاسٹ آف کیپٹل منگا دی توایو یعنی چکا ہر کلا منگا فائننسنگ کو شیر ہلران منگ سر اخبلا داغو سرمایہ منگ ترا کئی صحیح دا دی تو منگا وایو فائننسنگ اس اگا پر اگا منافع چی مونگا شیر ہولڈرانو تا دا غو دا پیسو پا بدل کے ورکو اگا منافع تا مونگا وائی کاسٹ آف کیپٹل فرض مثال مونگ تا دا پیسو ضرورت شو نو مونگا وارڈو چی پبلک فائننسنگو کو مونگا درے نفرہ شیر آگا پیدا کرل فائننسر پیدا کرل چی آگو سر فرنس دی آگو وارڈو چی آگو وارڈو چی سرمایہ گزاری ہو کی نو اگا درے نفرہ مثال ہر یو زان سر درے درے ملون افغانے داری در طول شد نه ملون افغانے خا اس کچر تا منگ وارد چی داگا نه ملون افغانے داغونا منگا وقلو با بدل که آگو تا سا منافع ورکو نو کچر تا منگا خپل کمپنی همیشه آرڈر کردی وی نو آگو با با منگ منگ دیر اعتبار و لری او آگی با وی چی والا زمنگا پیسی دا زایی کی گی نا دا ورکی گی نا فالی حاصل پا کم منافع بانده با منگ تا خپل پیسی را که منگ سر با سرمایه گذاری بکی او که چر تا منگ خپل انفرمیشن آرڈر کردی نی خپل کمپنی آرڈر کردی نی نو آغو منگ منگ اعتبار نکی او آغو دا فکر کی چی منگ چی آغو 
چې کوم پیسې مونږ ته راکوي هغه ډېر په خطر کې دي فلحه دا چې خطر کله ډېر نو هغه به مونږ پیسې هم ډېرې غواړي ځکه چې میکسیمم رسک ویل ګیو یو میکسیمم ریټرن منیمم رسک ویل ګیو یو منیمم ریټرن صحیح نه نو ځکه مونږ وایو چې آرډر چې کله مونږ کوو نو دا زمونږ کاسټ آف کپیټل کمی دا مانا چې دغه درې نفره دغه درې نهه میلیونه افغانۍ مونږ ته راکړي او مونږ خپل کمپنی آرډر کړی نه نو فکر وکړه چې دغه درې نفره به مونږ نه دغه نهه میلیونه افغانۍ بدل کې د میاشتې سال یو لکه افغانۍ منافع غواړي صحیح شو او که چرته مونږ خپل اکاونټس آرډر کړي وي زمونږ کریډیبلیټي په مارکیټ کې زیات وي نو هغه چې د یو لک نه مونږ تیر یو کم خورم او تل خورم مونږ ته چې دی اویا زره افغانۍ راکه خو دغه اویا زره باندې هغه خوشحاله زه که هغه ته پته چې دغه اویا زره یقیني دي خو هغه مخکې ځل کې یو لک یقیني نه ول یا کېدی شي یو لک ورکړي یا ور نه کړي ځکه هغه ډېر ته راوښتل او اوس چې هغو ته معلومه ده چې دغه ارګنایزیشن ډېر کریډیبل دی نو هغه په اویا زره باندې هم تا سره منی صحیح سته سو معنی شي اس کې وخت کې کمپنی آرډیټ میکنه خو ده کاسټ آف کپیټل یې زو پایین می آیا کاسٹ آف کپیٹل چی است منافع کې در بدل فایننسنگ در بدل امو فایننسنگ کو میکنه او پرداخت میکنه امو را ما کاسٹ آف کپیٹل میگی صحیح است ان سمپل وردز نمبر 3 ڈیزائن ٹو انفیشنٹ انفیشنسی اینڈ فراڈ سیم مهم فائدہ کې بای کمپنی اوڈٹ می رسانه یی است کې فراډ او مس ریپرزنټیشن او مس اپروپریشن ای چیزا را از بین میبره چون کمپنی ها یا شرکت ها خیلی کلان میباشه او اونا از کمپلکس اکاونټنګ پروسیجرز ان اکاونټنګ سیستم استفاده میکنه فلی ها دا چانسیس زیات میباشه کې د اوجا فراډ صورت بگیره یا مستیک صورت بگیره یا ایرر صورت بگیره ای چانسیس زیات میباشه وقتی کې در آخر هر سال ما کمپنی خود آرڈر میکنیم ای تمام مستیکس معلوم میشه فایند آوت میشه فگر آوت میشه و در آینده به سال آینده ای تمام فراد ها و مستیک ها و ایرر ها از بین میره سایسته و در نتیجه ما یک سیستم بسیار خوب پاک و شفاف داشته می باشیم و در نتیجه چی میشه که بزنس ما خوب رشد میکنه سایست نمبر دی کنترول ان اپریشنل امپروومنٹس چارم فایده ای است که در نتیجه آرڈیٹی که ما هر سال کمپنی خود را میکنیم تمام عملیات های و کارهای ما چی میشه؟ بهتر میشه یک سال به دیگه سال همه چیزا بهتر میشه چون آرڈیٹر تمام چیزا را چک میکنه و بر ما مشوره میده و در نتیجه مشوره شانه ما چی میشیم؟ امپروو میشیم از لحاظ اپریشنز و از لحاظ کنترول سایسته و در, در آخر چی میشه که کلاینت از, از ما ستسفای می باشه چه هر کلا کلاینت مونگ ستسفای وی کسٹومرز مونگ ستسفای وی نوزه مونگ بزنس خلکی یو راستر بلی سایی شو؟ خا اوس مونگ رازو چی دا اکاونٹنگ ان آرڈیٹنگ منز کی سر ریلیشنشپ دی سو دیر از ا گریت اور close relationship between the auditing and accounting but both of them are two separate activities right the directors of company are responsible for establishing books of accounts and will uh, accurately record financial information and that are used for preparing the annual financial statements it is also the responsibility of directors to adopt consistent and appropriate accounting policies in order to prepare and present financial statements the financial statements have to comply with national legislative requirements and international financial reporting standards no gore kacharta accounting we no auditing ba bi kacharta accounting new no auditing his ke de nishi sahi na zaga chimo mole chi auditing is the uh, is checking of accounting no if there is no accounting there is no auditing so from this you can see how they are related Uh, there is a cro- close relation between the auditing so the first step is accounting the second step is auditing so an auditor is a good accountant right your auditor jade aga your accountant ham bhi aur your auditor ham bhi aur har accountant jade aga auditor nish ke dele sahi na aur har auditor jade aga accountant ke dele shi no does among the lecture 
دلته بیا د اکاونټنګ باره کې او آرټنګ باره کې تعریفونه لیکلي دي ایت سیز اکاونټنګ از د سیستماتیک پروسس آف ریکارډنګ کلاسیفاینګ سمرایزنګ رپورټنګ ان دی فاینانشل سټیټمنټس ان ا لوجیکل سیستماتیک مینر فور د پرپوس آف ډیسیژن میکینګ خو آرټنګ بس شه دی آرټنګ چې دی کنه ایتس د چیکینګ آف اکاونټنګ رایټ سو ټو پرووایډ ریلیوینټ انفارمیشن اکاونټنټس مس هاو ا thorough understanding of principles and rules that provide the basis for preparing the financial statement yo accountant the pakar the chaga the accounting knowledge na khabar bhi he should know all rules and regulations of accounting he should know the standards okay now what is auditing auditing is the concern in auditing the concern is with determining whether the presented financial statements uh properly reflect the financial information that occurred during the accounting record accounting period auditing ke munga sako auditing ke munga a tool accounting system munga check ko aw guru chi aya da accounting system sahi malumat e munga ira kare de kana de ira kare sahi na no din apad lagi chi auditing aw accounting da ya bul sara de close di khud dwa different activities di since auditors are primarily concerned with the end result of this work that is do the financial statements show true and fair view the auditors must have a deep knowledge and understanding of accounting including applicable accounting standards and practices no sanga chima tas to waqti wale ki auditor ch de no haga yo takda accountant by do si samana chaga pa tool accounting procedures ban de pigi aw da accountant da pa sa accountant wi tar so da aga accountant galati fraud o da tool shan pa da ki sahi da The director was will consult with the auditor uh, as to appropriate accounting policies to follow. Our the company chikum directors they are always the auditor sara mashwara ki de bare ke chaya man kam nave accounting policies afa ko ya kum policy ki sum mushkilati chaya man ka change ko. No khabar matlab da sho che accounting and auditing are two close uh, but different activities right so accounting is basically the first step and auditing is second step and every accountant cannot be auditor but every auditor is accountant right an auditor is a good accountant because he is the one who uh, catches the errors and fraud of the accountant right accountant's job is to carry out accounting prepare uh record the business transactions and prepare financial statements right while the auditor's job is to check the um record made by the accountant and also financial statements prepared by the accountant and then find out if these accounting uh records and financial information reflect fair and true information or not right So uh, that's all about today's lecture. Thank you so much for being with me. If you have any questions, uh please let me know so I can address them accordingly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.